Eight years ago, when I came to work at Congregation Beth Chaim, it was a coming home. I grew up at the synagogue next door, and this Jewish community had been my community, and I was feeling very grateful that I could be a leader in this community. And so my husband, Sean, and I bought a home. We laid down roots and we grew our family. And while we were doing that, Congregation Beth Chaim invested in me. And two years ago, you all made a commitment to me that you wanted to invest in my future as a leader of our synagogue. And so in my second year as senior rabbi, Sean and I thought long and hard about how we wanted to in turn invest in the future of Congregation Beth Chaim. And so we recently committed to life and legacy promises. As we are formalizing our end of life plans, we wanna be sure that Beth Chaim lives long beyond us, beyond our children and their children. As Congregation Beth Chaim celebrates its 50th year of life, we pray that there's at least 50 more years. And in order to do that, we need you to join us. You too can make a life and legacy promise. This does not commit you to a certain dollar amount. And there's a whole host of ways that this promise can look. And many of us on the Beth Chaim leadership team would be delighted to speak with you about what your options are. But please join Sean and me, our temple president, Rhonda Wydra, and many others who have committed to ensuring the legacy of our synagogue, a reform Jewish presence in central New Jersey for many more years to come. Thank you in advance for your generous donation through life and legacy.